dismal, appalling and an environmental emergency. That's how experts have described the state of New Zealand's fresh water in, re in reaction to the latest national report. An estimated 45% of our total river length is not suitable for swimming due to bacterial contamination. More than 68% of monitored groundwater sites failed drinking water standards at least once. And when it comes to our native bird species that live around fresh water, around two-thirds are either threatened with extinction or at risk of becoming threatened. And 48% of the river networks were at least partially inaccessible to migratory fish. Lauren Hendrickson has the story. It may look crystal clear, but the state of our country's freshwater is anything but. Things are bad and they're getting worse. There's no sign of any improvement. The latest report shows the health of at least 45% of New Zealand's monitored lakes worsened between 2011 and 2020. And nearly half of our rivers are deemed unswimmable, a statistic which the Minister for Environment says is an indictment on our country. When it comes to wastewater, more than 4,200 overflows, blockages or failures were recorded from 2020 to 2021. While the Resource Management Act was clear that you couldn't do all the things that we've done to freshwater, they were never really implemented. So we've just had a free-for-all on land use change and intensification. You don't have to look far to see the consequences it has on our health. In 2016, the drinking water supply in Havelock North was contaminated by a surface pond less than 100 metres from a bore. More than 8,000 people fell ill, four died, and others were left permanently disabled. It's one of the largest waterborne outbreaks of its kind in the developed world, so we've really learnt the hard way in terms of what, what could happen if this um, pollution continues. Bacterial contamination is a worry. 82% of all sites are either getting worse or showing no improvement. Nitrate isn't much better. 51%. And experts are frustrated. Most figures in the 2023 report haven't been updated beyond 2020. And only 262 groundwater sites have been used for reporting trends out of a pool of at least 1,000. Because of the time lags that exist in seeing change in long-term trends, we can't update indicators every year. The Minister for the Environment, David Parker, says making substantial improvements to water quality is an intergenerational challenge and the essential freshwater reforms launched in 2020 will already be making some of that change. It's got a massive challenge on our hands. And experts say the authorities need to get tough and lead the way. We have just no enforcement, so we have nothing happening to change what we're doing. So we can get back to what used to be taken for granted in New Zealand, having clean, fresh water. Lauren Hendrickson, News Hub.